This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that last card to complete your online deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town like Crown Zenith, for example. They literally have everything and you can use the coupon code ZADLUSTCG for 5% of your order. This video is also sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day and you can use the referral name ZADLUSTCG to help support the channel. This video is also sponsored by yourplaymat.com. This is a platform where you're able to upload your favorite wallpaper and they turn it into a beautiful playmat. You can now have 10% of your order by clicking the link down below and they ship worldwide so definitely check it out. Last but certainly not least is going to be dragonshield.com. Dragon Shield is the best brand to protect your beautiful cards and they have the best quality sleeves available and uh, you can of course yeah, check it out by clicking the links down below. They have sleeves, binders and deck boxes of the best quality around. I use them in every single tournament and you guys should do the exact same thing. Thank you a lot for sticking around with the commercials and enjoy the video. Peace!
So Arne, what's the play? Lost box, sky seal stone. Lost box and sky seal stone. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, for me, I'm going back to the Regis. I left behind the Rilladon because that's just a temporary phase. So let's hope I get my 20 CP for Worlds. We'll Ready see. with four path, I assume. Yeah, four path, some shoes, just going a little <laughs> bit turbo. I prefer Pokestop, but in this format, pad is broken. All right. So what spicy deck do you have? For me, it is a wheezing and coughing, and just wheezing. Just <laughs> <laughs> to annoy my people, just and we'll see what happens. I want to hit the meta decks, and if it are not meta decks, then so I'm So a belty block with a bunch of hammers, okay. Yes. Floku. I just playing uh, Arc de Religion, because I, I didn't know. have anything else than that. <laughs> a touch pass! A touch pass! pass. pass. <laughs> so, Carl. Lugia. Just Lugia? Yep. Yeah. Nothing spicy? Uh, no. Okay. Another one? <laughs> Same. Just Lugia. Oh, hey. Nothing really spicy. Just the Lugia. usual. <laughs> the usual. <laughs> just two Lugias. The usual. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. I'm playing... Uh, <laughs> I'm playing Vika Vault for a, for a change. <laughs> Not really. Not really for a change because I've been playing Vika Vault all season almost. That's true. That's yeah. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. All right, the first game is done. Actually, the round in Bochum Regionals. We're up against the friendly Vincent Marcus Monk from Denmark, right? Yeah. Yeah, and you were playing Lugia. Uh, can you tell me a little bit how uh, the both games went? Uh, you drew really. Uh, crazy uh, in game two but in game one it didn't pop off too well. Uh, game one I didn't really set up and I just got dunked pretty much in five minutes and game two I got behind because he came out my, uh, my Nubia on turn two. Yeah it was crazy. You like, basically I had the whole game right? Yeah I didn't so. see him done spars. You're not playing no, it? I'm oh yeah okay so that makes it really rough for you definitely. Yeah. Uh, did, did you consider Dunspars or did you cut it last minute or did you say like uh, I'm not gonna see any I never Regis? I really played it but I considered it for the Vika deck more than this one. Yeah but I also saw that in game 2 I could have lost if I didn't have uh, another Regis set up on the bench. Yeah, yeah. So you, so you calculated perfectly which one to KO because he checked my discard pal and since I only played 3 ordinary raw that could have been the exact play. Yeah, but, uh, the last Aurora, I could have won it. Yeah the cool thing is that I had it in my hand so you could not like boss yeah. and Marnie at the same time so I was a little bit uh, Assured, but yeah. you played super well and that could have gone both ways in game two but I wish you a lot of lo uh, luck and fun in the rest of the tournament uh, you what which decks do you want to see uh, you are confident in the mirrors yeah, yeah. you played tested that a lot probably yeah, yeah. okay yeah, I, uh, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, well. Alkakia is good, so you're playing the bird keeper then? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And, uh, yeah, I think I can beat most of the decks also. So. Yeah, it's unfortunate that uh, you you don't have dance parts, otherwise you definitely would have won in the in yeah. this series, but you'll not, you're not going to be seeing any Regis, hopefully. No. Uh, lovely meeting you, Vincent. Thank you. Okay, uh, the first victory is already out of the way, so uh, that's super nice. Uh, smacked the Lugia twice, so they cut their dance parts, which I expected. There was not a lot of people playing dance parts at OCIC, and now with the Regis being back, I'll feel uh, more confident than ever. Let's get that world's invite in this video. All right, round two is done. I was up against Mart Hoekstra from the Netherlands. You were playing Fusion Mew. I laughed a lot during this series. Can you tell me a little bit how both games went? So the first game he put down Path, and that was basically the game for me. <laughs> you used Regigate about four times, <laughs> something like yeah, that. Yeah, I was also not drawing extremely well, but in my hand I had three Ordinary Rod and Research. If I did that, I would have lost regardless, so I'd said like, I'll trap a Genesect and just yeah. Regigate, but because Pat was in play and you couldn't find any out to it, insane. Okay. Game two was pretty similar, I would say. I had one out, it was a Chromomatic, but I missed it, so it was the same story, basically. Yeah. Uh, what made you decide to play Mew uh, with Fusion Energies instead of the DTE build? Um, against Lugia, with the DTE build, I don't like the Judge Path Prey, I like to take a knockout. Yeah, That's yeah. why I also play the Catcher, and um, I just like to take uh, three knockouts. Two price, two price, two price. That's oh, why right, I also okay. play Collapsed Vacuum and then I can Echoing, echoing Horn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I saw the, the uh, Collapse Stadium coming down. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh no, but uh, by that time, every every Reggie was powered up already. Yeah. So, was yeah. a little too, too late. I laughed a lot. Thank <laughs> you for the games, Mart, and uh, have a lovely weekend. Right, thank you, yeah. you too. Another victory! Uh, it actually makes sense because uh, I was doubting to add actually in Pokestop, but 
Path to the Peak is just so strong that you can easily cheese out games with, of course, uh, slapping down Path Turn 1 and uh, Movie Max. If they whiff Gravomatic, things go uh, rough very quickly. So 2-0 uh, right now. Okay, round three is done. Just before lunch break, we were up against Marco Wals from Germany. He has been playing for only a year and we had one of the best games we had so uh, in my, actually my career to be honest, super Thanks. back and That's forth. Blushing. Blushing, I'm blushing, yeah. I'm blushing. Yeah, it was, it was a very close game. It was like, I don't know. Yeah, tell me a little minutes. bit how the both games went. So the first game was very, very close. It went down to me having zero cards in deck in my final turn, but I didn't have the outside to use a rod early on. Um, which was unlucky. Um, the second game we had like 12-15 minutes left and I didn't get a turn turn two attack with Cram, yeah, just one yeah. card. So it's unlucky, it happens. Yeah, but game one, you actually utilized Raikou twice. Yes. I was really surprised in combination with Zigzagoon, even used Rayquaza. All your Mirage gates were perfectly spot on, on top of a, uh, a Cramorant and Sableye. In that game, you used all your attackers. That was beautiful to see. And it was all coming down to uh, you uh, whiffing out on that last couple of turns. So. Yes. Yeah, really nice. Thanks for the games, Marco. And uh, I for wish sure. you uh, a lovely, uh, yeah, I would say uh, lunch because you will need it to, of course, play the rest of the games. So thank you very much. Just have a great day. Have a great day. <laughs> Joshua, how are your standings? Uh, right now I'm 3-0, feeling pretty good. Uh, I actually saw the entire meta already. Lugia, Lost Box and Mew. So the Regis are slapping around. What kind of Lost Box did you, did you see? Uh, Rayquaza with Galarian Zigzagoon and Amazing Rare Raikou. And they were actually able to use Amazing Rare Raikou twice oh. in that game. And I almost lost. The only good thing is I have Marnie. Marnie Pat is too broken. Alright, well, keep winning. Let's try. 2-0-1. 2 0 one. What yep. were your matchups? Uh, first round, I played against a new player, uh, playing Dark Rai. Dark Rai so that was, that was kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of nice. Uh, second round, I played against Lost on Gudra. Lost on Gudra I tied against. I was a bit unlucky in the end to not be able to finish out, but that's fine. the part of the game. And uh, third round, I played against Regis. And I won okay. against Regis. Very nice. Let's it out. So I'm still playing Arduda. Um, <laughs> I, um, I won my first match against uh, Lugia. Because um, yeah, I played um, double uh, parcels and temple, so he could do nothing. Then the second match I lost because it was against uh, Eternatus Vmax. Yeah. Like it's practically in outlaws if they have everything and the third match was against fusion mu i don't need to explain that you got dunked yes i got dunked <laughs> so sad to hear that one. yes okay so arne how are you doing three zero three zero yes faced uh, lugia faced curem vmax and faced uh, lost box mirror curem vmax so, yeah it was easy Someone's <laughs> and, uh, oh, goodness okay let's hear for wheezing one two one Palkia, two Lugias, but one with Cologne. And Palkia is hard to defeat, so what do with this? Understandable. Yeah. So Let's, yeah. Uh, hope you get more Lugias yeah, that you can, <laughs> can ruin your day with. Attacks. All right. Oh, hilarious. Oh, yeah, you thought you were going to get away, yeah? <laughs> ah, what is your standing? I'm 2 1. Uh, I'm with the dunk against Gudra, so I lost that with match. With the dunk? Against the lost? It was lost to lost Gudra. Turn. He had the Gudra and on front. And nothing else? Nothing else. Wow. It was my second turn. I whiffed the lightning energy. I had everything else, but... Zigzagoon, Zapdos, 220... No. He, he already had 60 damage from the first... No. Yeah. From the first item lock? No. No. <laughs> yeah, because I went second. Oh, yeah, okay. So, I already did 60 damage. He's still alone in Gudra, and I whiffed the attack. Oh, that's and bad. That and then lost. he was able to uh, set up and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so then it was 1-0, then I won the second one. So 1-1, one, one, and couldn't squeeze out the tie or didn't get the oh, win. Oh wow, so these games were really quickly. Did he scoop early on maybe? or No, they just went really fast. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. <laughs> crazy fast. But keep playing fast, tying is dying. I also had another match against Gudra that I won for some reason, very fast. You already score. saw two Gudras. Yeah. Holy moly. I, I'm <laughs> glad Gudras. I did not play Vika World. <laughs> and uh, the other one was Lost Box, Lost which Box. was pretty easy. Okay, keep it up, keep it up. I'll try. Game four has concluded. Uh, I was up against Moro Wandolo. He's from Belgium as well, so we can speak Dutch. This is the uh, Pokemon they used to slaughter me in game one. Uh, we actually tied. Tell me a little bit how both games went for you. 
So game one, I popped off, uh, hit corners every turn, double KO with Raikou. So yeah, it was pretty easy because I can just place damage counters with Sableye on every Reggie, so I can get Raikou double party. KO. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you like spread damage across, and uh, I was out of scoop up nets, yeah. you were able to outrun me with the Raikou. Really well done. I scooped actually. Even before I was going to lose, I scooped really quickly so I could play the uh, second game because one prizers typically tend to like uh, have slow games. Uh, and game two? Yeah, game two, start didn't go well, no quarters for like three turns, I think. So yeah, I also couldn't really use this guy, which is pretty good. If I KO uh, Reggie Drago, there's no immediate response. Yeah, so. exactly, exactly. But. Yeah, you played really well. It surprised me with the Raikou, and uh, yeah, this was a cool tie. Well, I, I played against you a lot throughout yeah. this season, but uh, yeah, we keep on facing each other. Let's hope you'll be able to make it to day two, because you played extremely well. Yeah. Okay, the tie against that uh, very good love box player. Uh, I'll take it, because Amazing Rare Raikou with Zigzagoon is very scary. Also, if they spread Stabilite, their damage counters perfectly as he did. Things can uh, become like a 50-50 situation, but I'm glad we were able to play Turbo Mode and got all two games. Even though one prizes are typically super slow, this tie is uh, really meaningful. Round number five is done. I was up against Manuel Jorak from Germany, and uh, he was playing Fusion Mew, not Fusion Mew, DTE Mew with Lost City. We ended up in a tie, not enough time left on the clock. Tell me a little bit how the games went for you. Well, the first one, like, my Lost City got kicked, and the second one, two of the Reggies were in the Lost Zone. So basically, there was no possibility anymore for the Gigas to, to go up. Yeah, exactly. So uh, nothing you can do against... When you cannot bump this, I was digging so hard, like Speed Lightning, Reggie Draco, and Supporter, but the path wouldn't come. So uh, yeah, I guess we end up in a tie. Puts us at a 3 2 score, still very good. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to uh, make it to day two. So thank you for the games. Good luck. Round six is done. I was up against Daniel Prokes, if I pronounce it correctly, from the Czech Republic. A really nice person to play against. We actually played three complete games. So uh, tell me a little bit how the games went for you. You were playing Lugia V-Star. Well, the first game it was um, mostly like uh, you had all of those uh, cards that you needed. So yeah, the Reggie came together, the squad was there, and they took over, yeah. I completely lost it, like, in a sense, yeah. snap, basically. And, uh, and the second game, I set up properly because I was starting. Yeah. And uh, at the moment when you had there the Reggie Alaki, I was able to charge. Yeah, all four powerful Carlos energies were on the south, and I said, like, whoop, I'm out. Yeah. And I was like, okay, you scooped, and then the last game was uh, decided probably by my professor's research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of seven cards, I drew six energies. Mm. <laughs> so then I was looking for uh, the fish which was priced, wow. so he started to take prizes. Yeah, then for... I found the fish, but he had the path to the peak in the play. So I had to remove that one to actually get the money from the deck to shuffle the energy. Yeah, the but the, 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 just... the crazy thing was that I also I knocked out an Archeop, so I protected myself this time from a Stoutland because Stoutland is so good. Have you used it a lot this tournament? Uh, yeah, quite a lot. Uh, depends on the matchup, of course. Yeah. For the Regis, okay, it's, um, it's situational, I would say. Yeah, opportunistic, I would say, with four <laughs> powerful Chorus Energy. So sometimes when you research into yeah. two powerfuls, it also doesn't work. But yeah, really enjoyable games. I loved uh, playing against you, Daniel. And I wish You're you welcome. a lot of fun for the rest of the weekend. You too. Thank you. Okay, another victory. So we are at 402, still undefeated. It's going pretty great. I think one more win gets me my world's invite. So that's gonna be ridiculously awesome. I'll be, uh, of course, uh, going through the motion right now, but there are still uh, three more rounds left and I need to win, uh, I think, two of them. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> Round number seven, I believe, is done. I was up against uh, Matthias Jakobsen. Yes. Yes, from Denmark. So uh, we're doing the Euro trip here. I've battled almost against everybody from uh, Europe, which is nice. It was super lovely meeting you, and we were playing Amir. Can you tell me a little bit how the games went? We went back and forth. Uh, I would say the game were very equal. We have like the same deck almost. A few little differences. Energy Lotto. <laughs> e Energy Lotto was the difference, so that made the difference for you, and you ended up taking the first prize in both games, and then ended up winning on 
us. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you the, almost missed the first game. But yeah. Close and, game. The, and the the close first game, I actually uh, uh, did really crazy aggressive plays by discarding all my ordinary rods. Yeah, exactly. So I had at one point using sonar to get back in the game, yeah. but it helped me. With like four cards, I was scared to get Marnie to deck out, yeah. but because I take a prize card, I had like a two in hand and three in deck, so I could not deck out. So that was insane. Was Thank you for the games, man. Yeah, no problem. Nice again. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got 502. That means the world invite is secured. We will see each other in Japan, definitely. So, uh, yeah, 502. Depends on what I do. I could ID the last one to get my world invite, but we're gonna be uh, going crazy. I'm gonna try to win the rest of the two and see how we do. Maybe tomorrow. Depends on how the matches go. But uh, this has been quite a crazy experience, and uh, we will definitely keep you guys updated. Okay, round eight is done. I was up against um, Oscar Rivas. Yeah. yeah, okay. You were playing Gudra, my worst matchup I could have imagined. But I was able to draw out myself out of it because you couldn't find Chorus. Uh, can you tell me a little bit how the both games went? We, be, we played two in the end. Yeah, I think uh, the first game I can play Colres and I can use uh, the Mirage Gate. Yeah. So I need to play right hand to charge the Gudra, but you kill my Gudra and I can't uh, charge the other Gudra. Yeah, you had only one Gudra V Star left. Uh, yeah. Are you playing 3 2 line or 2 3 line? 3 3. 3 3, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So I was thinking like the V Star is gone, maybe I'm a little bit of luck, but no, no, three, three. we also play 3 Roxanne. Yeah. The Roxanne combination with uh, the temple. How many temple? Three, three temple. Yeah. Three temple as well. Wow. That was really, really nice. Can you tell me a little bit why you chose Gudra for this specific event? Well, uh, my first uh, deck was uh, Control. Oh. Yeah, but uh, in Melbourne, I th in Melbourne, yeah, the. Uh, yeah, OCIC? Do you went to OCIC? OCIC, yeah. Oh, wow. The Melbourne, the Control decks, uh, I think only one in top 32. Yeah. And. Some Lucius plays Snorlax to touch with Control. Yeah. And I think uh, I will not play Control. And yesterday I think, what? Well, I play Gudra. And it's going great. And Did you see a lot great. of Regis already? No, the first. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I have the time because for me it looks like an auto loss when you draw well. I was really lucky you didn't find Colrus in game one. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was lovely meeting you, Oscar, and uh, we'll Thank see you. each other on day two. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Round 9 has concluded up against Jamie Whithops from Belgium. We decided to go for the ID, being uh, safe, and I wanted to push another Belgian fella uh, into the scene of day 2 in the Baham Regionals. Uh, what are you playing? Uh, I'm playing Vickervolt's Palkia, so it's not as favorable against the Regis. So uh, yeah, I'm really grateful for the ID. My first day too, as well, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's super I'm nice excited. to hear. You're Let's excited? Go, they choose, they choose, they choose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what made you decide to play Palkia over Aerodactyl? Um, I think to have um, the option to attack with Greninja is really nice. Yeah. Also, having a heavy hitter against things like Gudra. Uh, um, I the option want... to well, one shot uh, Lugias yeah. uh, with the double six gun ping without weakness. Is Maybe also a going horn as a spicy yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. So, yeah. Cool. I wish you the best of luck. Let's see how day two uh, yeah, will concede. <laughs>two in Bochum. How are you feeling? I'm uh, feeling pretty good. We have three of our squad uh, getting into day two, all with different decks. So we actually have a shot at uh, going for a deep run. So let's hope for the best. You're also in day two, so congrats. Yeah, thank you. It's been a hard run. <laughs> it's been a hard run, yeah, with Vikervold. You also were on stream. Same for Arne. So uh, a lot of us on stream. It's good for the representation, I guess. <laughs> so you have officially your uh, world invite now. Yeah, I'm super stoked about it. Uh, I was actually hoping just to get 30 or 40 CP in this event. But it's gonna hopefully be more since we're in day two and uh, I'm having my comfort deck, Regis, so. Regis. Let's hope you get further than just day two. Yeah. Let's hear it for Arne. So Arne, day two as well. Yes, yes. With Lost Box. Lost Box. I also heard you won against uh, Sander Wojcik yeah. on stream. That was the main achievement of the day. <laughs> <laughs> they threw a bonus. How stressful was that? Very stressful. You have no idea what he's playing until like halfway the match. Did he so, make it in day two? No, he played a 6-3 I think. 
so, oh. well, yeah. <laughs> we won't be seeing that weird deck. Yeah. All right, good luck to both of you. Thank you. Okay, so I just took the tie against Control. Uh, one of the uh, worst matchups I could have with the Ice Q. They Torton into it out of nowhere. Uh, luckily, I was able to, of course, uh, be able to quickly win game two because there was one minute left on the clock and I didn't, didn't even have time for the interview. So uh, right now, 5.05, so still undefeated. All right, round number two in day two is done. We're up against Nicolas Baumann from Germany. He actually made his first day two and uh, he was super stoked about it. It turns out that this card is quite busted. Tell me a little bit how the two quick games went. You were also playing Greeted VMAX, by the way. Uh, yeah, we had um, this little guy for, um, who actually won me two games Seven. in day one, which pretty much sealed mm -hmm. me into day two. Uh, won my winner in round eight, so that was really, mm -hmm. really exciting as well on top. Um, and, um, yeah, first round, uh, first game was against Mew, so that was, was a tie. Just kind of how Mew game goes, basically. Um, but uh, yeah, this round was uh, not really much for me, I just kind of bricked both games. No. Uh, yeah, you, half, couldn't, you couldn't bump the path, yeah. Both times. First game I could have gotten like something going with Luminion, but Path just killed me and second game, kind of similar story. Yeah, I, I kind of like drew really good hot with the Regis that sometimes. Uh, you also, I didn't see Dunspars anywhere, you're not playing it? Oh, th I am playing both <laughs> Dunspars and Manaphy, but just couldn't get it out. Like. Oh, okay, so that makes sense. So, uh, yeah, I just, yeah, it was just never really worth it to get out because I just was... I just needed to get a board state for Yeah, and you also was, needed to no. get Pumpkaboo out so you couldn't yeah, find exactly. the dance parts and stuff. Yeah, it makes sense. That's just more important stuff. Yeah, I wish you a lot of luck for the rest of the rounds. And uh, I'm super stoked for you for getting your uh, day two. Thank you. Thank you. Round 12 has concluded. I was up against Dor Ishel, if I pronounce it correctly. Uh, you were playing Lugia V-Star and we played two games. Eventually, it was another time. Uh, hi, you, you're still unbeatable, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was a tough game. Uh, the first game was uh, you started uh, with the price trading, and the second game I did. Actually, it was a it was good game, form, good yeah. match. I was uh, trying to out resource you with your energies. I think you had two left the V Guard and a powerful or something. Yeah, yeah. And I was trying to sonar, and maybe uh, the lost vacuum was in your prize cards. That could have been a way out, but you, you played really well in that second game. And uh, congratulations with the tie. So, thank you. Thank you. Okay, what a tie fest. We are six wins and six, uh, yeah, lo not losses, six ties, six wins. So uh, we're doing uh, everything but losing. So uh, the top eight dreams probably uh, gone by now, but top 16 is still possible. I have six wins and six ties. Okay, round 13 is done. I was up against Andrew Emerson and he slapped the living hell out of me with a greed and V Max. Tell me a little bit how both games went. Uh, game one was unfortunate for you. You played down all your cards and didn't top deck more draw power. <laughs> so that was unfortunate. Uh, game two, nice even prize trade. Um, I always managed to get rid of the stadium, which was nice. Um, but then at the end, I took a risk, bench Greedent, uh, three powerful energies and Marnie. Hope that you don't hit the Serena. And then next turn went final powerful Greedent VMAX. Leon. Yeah, the Leon. It surprised me so much prizes. because I thought like I have this locked if I just scoop up my Regilecki because yeah, you can then only hit for 100 and... It's 110. Wow, it's, it's only 110. So, yeah, you you have to play the Leon. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, that's super ingenious. Also saw a wind-up arm in there. Wind-up arm and Snorlax. Did you use it a lot this uh, turn uh, run? I used it uh, today against the control deck. Oh, wow. It's really, really good. And I used it yesterday against uh, Wild Shock Zekrom. <laughs> So yeah, congratulations, yeah. super unique Lugia deck. Let's hope you're going to be able to uh, get the top 16, I suppose. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. yeah. The last match of day two of the Bakken Regionals has concluded. Stefan Norgaard was my last opponent. Uh, he's from Denmark, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct, yeah. Yeah, and you were playing the spicy Vikervolt for this tournament. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit how both games went. I was playing the Regis. Yeah, unfortunately, you, you get your setup uh, in the first round and I couldn't lock you. And from there it's just an easy game for you in the game one and in the game second I choose you to, to start in the, in the hope if I could get the Melanie lock in turn one and unfortunately with and you get your set up. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. turn one with definitely decided the game on the spot because Vikerville needs that turn one item lock. Uh, which matchups did you see a lot to, during your course in the tournament? 
Uh, Lugia the most. Lugia the most, yeah. yeah. I think I played against five. Wow. Yeah. And what was your matchup spread? Did you win all of them or? I won four and tied one. Wow, yeah. okay. And so... I dunked Lugia six times oh. <laughs> with yeah. Raikou. Oh, Raikou, so good. So, it reminds me of the list uh, that we saw in the senior division. Is it uh, something similar with the path to the peaks and... Uh... Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. No uh, right are you are you a fan of uh, Pumkabu in the list? Because I saw you're playing vacuum. But sometimes when you're up against Mew, cannot find the uh, the stadium bump. We, we actually, uh, me, me and some of my friends played the stick, uh, the the exact sixty, mm -hmm. and we was talking about if we should uh, get a Pumkabu or a extra stadium or extra lost vacuum or something like this. But we decided to stick with this uh, 60 with only one lost vacuum. Oh yeah, yeah. but uh, it treated you well. Uh, you actually are going to get some, some points. How many points do you have so far? Uh, 100 before this yeah. tournament and I think, I, I crossed my finger, 40, I get to up... Uh, 50, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 50. Now 150, no. that means no. if you get top 128 at EOIC, yeah. you have your advice. That should be enough. I'm rooting for you, <laughs> Stefan. Thank, Thank you. you. How was your experience on day two? Well, I only lost once during two days of playing. That means I tried a lot. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be top 32. Definitely top 64, which is nice. I always get uh, the invite, feels like a special feeling. And the last round I played against Vikavolt, but I know the deck inside out. It's the deck you're playing. <laughs> Almost the exact 60, I would say, except for he's playing vacuums yeah. instead of uh, Pumpkaboo, which meant Pets took around for two, oh, way too yeah. many turns. <laughs> So I'm pretty happy with my result, to be honest. So how many ties do you have then? I uh, six ties. I have six ties. My score is seven one six. Almost seven zero seven. That's true. But uh, how, what did you do in the end in day two? I got like one two two for day two, so I'm at seven two four, I think. Seven two four. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what the results are. Uh, there's definitely going to be, I think, 13 people not making it to top 64. Who knows? But people in top 64 do get half of a box, if I remember correctly. So I'm at 734. Yeah, seven, three, that's correct. Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's another member. Hello. So, Arne, how did you do in day two? One place after Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> 39. I went 8-3-3, uh, three, three, so I, lo I won my last two rounds. <laughs> So, uh, started bad, and good. Top 64, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. You can see the prices over here. Half a box. Half a box, and this is the deck. Lost box party. Lost so, box. did the Roxanne help? Him yes, then? Roxanne was at the Roxanne was best. Okay. Roxanne Against helped. every mirror, yeah, against every mirror. It's just at the right time, you do Roxanne, and you save life spread the comfies away, and you just can't get out of it. And then you can easily take the last prizes. So, to conclude, we all got top 64. We yes. all got points and we did great. So, uh, congratulations, Arvin. Thanks, it was thanks. amazing. And so the day ends with uh, three of us get top 64 and uh, we're driving away. Uh, yeah, back home. It's actually uh, right now two hours and a half, so uh, we will be home before we know it. And uh, thank you everybody for watching today's vlog. If you enjoyed it, be sure to let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. Subscribe for more content, and we will see you guys in Utrecht.